saw my video on um, using the Godox S7 Beauty Dish slash Multi Softbox and the AD200. This has been my outdoor rig right now for now and I really love these S brackets. So what I found is I can um, but I can have uh, the bulb and everything in place and, and still I can still easily fit it in the S bracket with the head attached and we have our AD S7 I have to do it with my left hand we have our AD S7 and we can easily pop that together I'm not too ambidextrous I wouldn't do it with my left hand normally and this just pops onto the Godox AD200 um, just line it up with the spline in and then a half turn and you could um, screw the locking screw tight if you want to keep it there um, what I was going to say is this is my go-to setup for shooting outdoors now and I love it for the reason I leave the um, diffusers and egg crating and stuff off so that I can just throw as much light as possible and get reasonably even light and be a little bit windproof. The beauty of, uh, of a soft box is that if this were to get blown by the wind it can just weather, weather vane in the wind, right? So once it weather vanes itself, so the wind is blowing over it, um, it kind of just parts the wind and it's happy and doesn't blow over. And that's the beauty. And if you can see here, good idea is to leave one of your um, locks loose on the light stand so that it can move rather than blowing over. I like to leave it so there's just a little bit of friction so it'll still move but not quite as easy as it might. And of course you should have a sandbag on the stand which is pretty much what we do. Reverse this process so it comes off so easy if it's not too tight. And so just wiggle off. Undo that. Undoing sometimes uh, you have to reach inside and grab the secondary secondary collar there. Tightening up, it always works really well. If I use my right hand. <laughs> right hand, not so good. King screw, probably not. Maybe we'll do some close-ups so you can see better. But this this guy, I can throw light from some distance too, right? Like, um, uh, I have done it like 12 feet away, but preferably maybe eight, six or eight feet for some of the pictures that I'm thinking of. Anyway, I just wanted to do a follow-up that I really am getting some use out of this. Thanks for stopping by my video channel and uh, taking a look at this short little recap video on the ADS-7 and the AD-200.